Hi everybody, this is Linda and welcome back to my kitchen. Now, um, we're going to fix, pull up your chair, we're going to fix a, a classic uh, pot roast in a pressure cooker. Now this is a small chuck roast. It only weighed um, two and a quarter pounds. But, there's just salmon I here. So, you know, that's all I need. But what you... You probably, a three pound would be best, I think. And if you get a three pound, you're going to pressure it for 50 minutes and you're going to let it release by itself. I salt and peppered this roast. And I put, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of garlic powder on it. And I browned it on both sides. But now that it's brown, I'm going to take it out and we'll go to the next step. I've got the drippings from the roast in there as well as I had put about um, two tablespoons of oil in there to brown it in. This is one medium to large onion and I didn't dice it up or anything. I just cut it in quarters. And you all know my dislike <laughs> my dislike for cooked celery. I do not like it. I'm sorry. But I've got one and a half stalks in there. And uh, well I don't know how that happened. There we go. One and a half stalks of celery. And um uh, a medium onion. <clears throat> I have my, here we go. My spoon out, and we're going to let these saute. And if there's any little brown bits, and I see one right there in the bottom, we're going to try to get those up. We're just going to let this soften up just a little bit. We really don't even need to soften it up because by the time this pressures, and because it's so small, I told you it's two and a quarter pounds. I, I'm just going to pressure this 40 minutes. But if it's not done, which it should be, but if it's not, then uh, I'll just put it back under pressure and let it cook a little while longer. Sure does smell good in here, I can tell you that. Alright, now, this called for fresh thyme and I didn't have any. <laughs> so I just used dry thyme and I put it in with my beef broth and this is uh, Two cups of beef broth with some dried thyme in there. If you've got fresh grate, use a twig or so. So that's two cups of beef broth. This is one cup of red wine. And for those of you that don't drink, when you cook with wine, the alcohol evaporates out. So you don't have to worry about that. Now I've got... It'll just give it a little bit of flavor. That's all it's going to do. Now, at this point, I'm going to put my roast back in, my small roast, and uh, I'll bring you back after I do it. All right, we're back. I got my brown meat, beet, meat on top of the, the uh, onions and little bit of celery. Now these are some potatoes that I washed. 
I'm putting those in. And this is some carrots. I like the baby ones. So I'm going to scatter these around. I don't think I'm going to use all of them. That's a lot of carrots. Whoop. It's a jumper. All right, I'm going to put the lid on oh, and two bay leaves. Two bay leaves. These were small. <clears throat> if they had been large, I would have used one. Okay, but this is two. I'm going to put the top on. I'm going to set it to... Uh, Take it, it's on the brown cycle now, but I'm going to set it to, um, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to set the pressure. I don't know if you can't see that, but it doesn't really matter. Set it to pressure. And I'm going to set the time. Whoop. All right, I, I'm going to set the time to 40 minutes. I'm going to set this little pressure valve right up here to uh, pressure. And then I'll bring you back when it's all finished. Now, you have to let this release naturally. You cannot... <clears throat> beef and pork, you let it release naturally because it'll seize up a little bit if you don't. And we want the meat as tender as we can get it. So we'll be back. Well, guys, we're back. My meal took exactly 40 minutes. Here it is. Move back. The potatoes, they didn't overcook. Even 40 minutes didn't overcook them. The carrots were fine. The meat fell apart as I was taking it out of the... Uh, pressure cooker and it I cut it with a fork that's how tender it is now in this pot it's what's uh, you know the juice that was left over and I'm letting it thicken so that I can have some thicker gravy but that's how you make a traditional pot roast Two and a quarter pounds, it takes roughly 40 minutes. A three pound roast will take anywhere from 50, excuse me, to 55 minutes. So thank you for coming in and spending part of your day with me. I always appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. And subscribe if you haven't. It only takes a minute, only takes a few seconds. And hit that bell when it comes up. After you subscribe, hit that bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Until next time, you all take care and God bless every one of you.